Why yeah, also do my own you know, studying, whether it be watching um, interviews between artists and like, you know, certain, uh, you know, companies, right? They'll, you know, ask questions to the artist, like, yo, how did you get your start? You know, what did you do at this point in your life? You know, like, when this happened, how did you react to that? You know what I'm saying? Looking at stuff like that. Um, also watching, um, live shows, seeing what it is exactly that they do, you know, whether it be the lights, alright bro, stay sir. whether it be the lights, you know, or the sound, or how the stage is set up, or whatever, you know, taking notes on stuff like that, um, yeah, but just different, various, various yeah. parts of the industry, yeah. ways to set it up. Yeah, I'm still thinking more about the development of your playing skills, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. music theory. I mean, yeah, and all of that kind of, those kinds of things. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you're not doing any it. lessons or anything like that. Uh, uh, not, not to where I go to. Guitar, teacher, right? I mean, yeah. Not mm -hmm. this current moment. Yeah. But the cool thing about teaching is that it only, you know, it solidifies what I've learned and I also continue to learn um, by well, teaching other students. Oh know? yeah. I don't, I don't know how, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta work on your own, really, you know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm really just saving, just saving, saving bread, saving money, just trying to stack it up. Mm -hmm. So I can invest it in those right parts, you know, those vital points oh, okay. that really boost me to the next level. Okay. I know right now I'm saving up uh, specifically for laptops. Uh, like a Mac you know, or some, some you know, computer that will process music, uh, production uh, software really well. Mm, okay. Um, I'm working on getting a DAWs digital audio workstation. Um, yeah, yeah, but I have all the other equipment. I have the, the interface, uh, the monitors, I have all the chords. Uh, uh, that are needed to work all those. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. How much have you had music theory? Have you had up to this yeah. point? Uh, at this point, in life, I, I know when I was going to Cedar Valley. I know we stopped um, around uh, like we were getting we were getting deep in like time and like meters. So we were we we're going over like you know. Uh, duple meter and like compound meter and the difference and like um, subdivisions dealing with the mathematics mathematics behind rhythm and like mm -hmm. the notes involved no uh, chord progressions and stuff like oh, that oh yeah that's, that's yeah. always one yeah right. so okay. and the cool thing about Instagram too um, and just you know social media so I follow several guitar pages and mm -hmm. they'll straight up just post exercises mm -hmm. just exercises consisting of different scales consisting of different <laughs> chord progressions consisting of you know like, uh, just different things like that. I know a big thing I want to work on is inversions. Uh, I love inversions and how those work, so I'm trying to dive in deeper with those. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sounds good. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's changed so much, you know, since I was in it. I still uh, understand the, the, uh, the technology and everything else is just out of sight. <laughs> So, nephew, what did, you, what did you decide to do about college? Man, so uh, I was going for a bit, and then uh, I decided it would be best if I dropped out and started working multiple jobs and uh, drawing my music career. Okay, so how far are you getting in your music career? Yeah, I'm going really far actually. Um, we're working on an album right now. There's a producer that song will perform, um, and he decided that he wanted to record my whole album for free. He's working with people like um, Erica Badu and Andy Irene. And uh, I Googled it to make sure it's legit. Um, but you do know Erica Badu has a degree, right? No, I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Wait, how long after she made it did she get the degree though? No, she got her degree before she made it. She may have been pursuing her music career while she was in college. But you do know that most actors and musicians have degrees. The only thing I'm worried about is that, you know, music is evolving every day and you want to be able to be exposed to the latest technology and all of that as far as music is concerned. And I really don't see you doing that 
on your own with no, no, my, no pun intended but shade tree musicians like I just think that the more training you have behind you from a reputable tech school or college whatever I think that would be better for you to, to break in the industry because you, you never know that you know some musicians they specifically go to these different colleges and stuff yeah, looking true. for you know the top notch yeah, no doubt no doubt um, I mean yeah I, I honestly agree with you on the cool but so but, you, you just need to make a plan A, B, and C. For sure. Because everybody who say I'm saving up my money to go to college, they never make it. Yeah, and then you don't want to be a loser. Yeah, I want to be trying a loser. to trying to still break into the career at 35. Jeez. No, it's underachieving. <laughs> oh, underachieving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have so much potential. <laughs> I know you're still looking for yourself, but nah, I, I found it. I have found myself completely. And not in 19. Yeah. Oh, okay. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Ain't nothing possible without God. <laughs> but you know, I, I definitely agree. Um, a, a, a degree. Because I, I know a whole lot of people that's still trying to fight that, find that hip hop career, uh, and they damn near 40. Yeah. Yeah. See, and my thing is like, no, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing. I agree wholly with what you're saying. There's no like, you know, there's no disagree. Like, yes, what you're saying makes complete, a hundred percent sense. Um, that is definitely. I'm a hoping idea. the the more the more mature you get, I think you'll realize that. But you do need to realize it on your own, or it's not gonna be worth it. For sure, for sure, for sure. Sure, y'all. Let him come to that conclusion on his own. No, she has been. She, she's been very supportive and just kind of like going with it this whole time. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very very grateful for that. Yeah. Um, but as I mean also I mean, you know, there there you know, like the artists that have graduated, you know, made it, you know, from college and made it and gotten their degrees. There are also several that, you know, didn't go to college and still made it. And, um, this is true. And I believe, I mean, this is like any business, you know. Sure. Um, it's like any business, you know, you really gotta push it, you gotta promote it. I gotta do the work. A lot of life and a lot of, you know, um, um, uh, uh, a lot of advancement, I say, in like, you know, certain paths depends on who you know. There are certain, you know, careers that a degree is necessary for, you know, if I want to be a doctor, I need a degree. If I want to be... Well, we're not even necessarily seeing degrees. We're, we're talking oh, about yeah. some type of training to put behind your name. Oh, okay. Some type of... Like it's different, yeah. No, I mean, I've been looking to the Make um, yourself the producer. more marketable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been looking to the uh, a producer um, certificate, too, at, uh, at Cedar Valley. It's like a... They have a program there, so... Yeah, in that case, yeah. We're, yeah. Absolutely. I agree. Okay, cut. <laughs> okay, um, so, OJ, Ashley, your cousin JB just graduated high school in May and he has decided not to go straight to school. Um, could, could you tell us, like, Ashley and OJ, I'd like to ask you separately your opinion you about that. have to start over, Cheryl. <laughs> Then he go to, so, but you said decided not he started, but then he stopped. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. I did not say he stopped, but he did stop. He started and then he he um, discontinued before before he uh, his grades got on his record. Yeah, yeah, because that would be bad. Okay, so straight up decided to not continue studies at this time. Yes, okay. that's correct. And what kind of plan does he have? Alright, what is his well, reasoning so that's behind the, it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, but first we want well, to give you guys... Well, that's okay. Oh, I guess, I guess we'll we'll just go. context. Okay, so basically, um, I have dropped out so I could work multiple jobs. I'm working four jobs right now. Um, trying to build up my money that way, and then I'm growing a music career. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm releasing content, meeting different people. Um, there was this one producer that saw me perform. Uh, really, really liked my performance and decided he was going to record my whole album. He's worked with people like Erica Badu, NDRE, he's legit, I've looked him up. And uh, we've already recorded the first track on the album, and we're uh, working on the second one currently. Um, also playing multiple other bands. Um, one girl, her name's Tippi Ballady, she was on American Idol or something like that. She got pretty far, she has a huge uh, following. Um, and she's been looking at a lot of deals. We're actually playing Fortress Fest um, with big names like Leon Bridges. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't looked at the whole list, but there's some big names on there. 
I remember we're playing like in April. Um, I also play with another band uh, with this girl named Demoy Jene. Uh, her stuff's like straight up on the radio um, in like other countries. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I, I'm starting to meet people, uh, work with a lot of people, and they're gonna introduce me to other people. And you know, it's it's a lot of it's about who you know. This is a business like any other business, so I gotta promote myself and uh, really get out here and grind hard. Yeah, just a little bit of context of what I'm doing in my life. Not, I, mean, I just haven't dropped out because I'm like lazy or anything. So like, you know, I school. I was I was going. Um, I would go to community college, and then I would wake up the next morning and I just wouldn't be motivated at all. And I ended up just skipping like weeks after weeks. I would try to go back. I would go back for a good three days, and then it would just happen again. And throughout this process, I would stop going. You know, I'd be, I, instead of going to school, I'd be like, hey, let's go record. You know, I talked to one of my homies who had you know recording device. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause I don't have a laptop yet, which I'm saving up for. But yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a little bit of context. To so what I'm you're doing. solely focused on music. You don't want to like do that like on the side. Nah, I'm focused. I want I want to do music I straight think, up. I think that's the right thing to do. Cause school and college ain't for everybody. Like when I went, I went because it was expected of me, mm. and I was pretty much forced to do it. Mm. Like I didn't have a choice in what I wanted to do or be. Mm. It was just you got to go to school. You better get a career and a job with this and this and this. And I didn't care about none of that stuff. I went to school simply because I had to. I played football. Yeah. So, you know, I had my classes and stuff that I kept up with for that reason. But other than that, I had no interest in most of the classes. I didn't relate to most of the students and I didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah. So the classes that I did take related to the things that I had interest in, which would have been like broadcasting and, you know, music and <clears throat> some criminal justice and different things like that but i didn't need all them extra silly classes yeah. and to me that was a waste of my time because exactly it was way was too a, valuable of yeah. a time in my life where exactly. i could have been developing and, and pushing myself into one direction or another yeah but instead you have it now like let's say you what 19 18 19 yeah. 19 if i had been pushing my music in 19 mm -hmm. who knows you know, right you know what i'm saying but instead it was more like I was Put that on hold until you know. Well, 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 no, nobody. Want, people want to. People will, usually your family and your parents. They say, "Oh, we want to see you do good." They want safe. They don't want yeah. you to do what you're gonna have to do to be happy. Yeah. So I've been doing music since I graduated from high school. I just didn't make it public to everybody. And yeah, you don't make money off of it because it's something that you enjoy and eventually you're gonna have to make money but it teaches you all the side hustles and all the ways that you got to be like okay yeah. i got to get my cheese so yeah. it might not be from working a regular job that you go to every day after you got a bachelor's degree and this and that yeah. but it still work because yeah. i've made six figures without a college degree so it's like i could go back and get one and not have a college degree or i could go back and get a college degree and probably make less than i'm making but it's overrated. It's, it's, it's all in perspective. Right. You can't... You gotta find what works for you. And that was a big thing, too. Like, I was I was going, and then as I was going, I was realizing, I was like, I could really sit here and go to this class for, like, you know, these classes, you know, for eight, all, you know, eight hours and all, and then go home and, like, do this work and not, you know, work on my craft, not... Or, you know, I could fit in my craft, you know, where I could. Um, or, you know, I could spend this time focusing on my craft and then, you know, actually making money and, like, saving it up. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, I feel like, dumping, you know, what, 80,000, you know, 20,000 on, on a, you know, on an institution. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. as long as you, as long as you still working, yeah. you know, you still staying focused and, and continuing to grow, because you can't yeah. just be like, all right, I'm not going to school. You still got to be educated. Exactly. So, exactly. the education doesn't necessarily have to come from a single classroom or something like that yeah. it can be from work experience from different jobs that you sure take in and all different type of things that you do yeah. because you gain way more knowledge from that like i don't work on the oh, yeah. ceos of fortune 500 companies yeah. so i learned way more just doing that than i ever would have learned spending thousands of dollars to sit in a boring classroom full of white kids that i couldn't relate to exactly and that's just the truth well and ashley as a, a historically black college university graduate You've been out of school for how many years? Mm, six. Six years. Well, what's your uh, thoughts on it? I mean, do you think the job market is such that he, you have to have a college degree? Or what's your opinion on this whole um, I mean, I feel like you don't have to have 
to have them, it, just, it can help. I guess depending on what kind of job you're looking for. Um, but it doesn't guarantee a job and I have people are like, I know a lot of people who got degrees and certain things and don't even have a job in that field. Yeah. And so it's like kind of hard to get a job these days, even with the college degree. It's like, doesn't, like, I feel like now they want more experience in all these jobs and not like, like, it's like what you know and all these entry level jobs, like how you get an entry level job with experience is just supposed to be entry level. So it's kind of tough. And like you said, it's, expensive to live out here and live life so you do need to work and have a job as well so. well and then you know how you were also involved in um in uh things like jack and jill and had connections from the black community that has that helped you at all in the workforce or any um, a little bit i mean like it's all about who you know too that does help you a lot so if you have connections with other associations that can definitely come along and help you if you like know people all right, and Sharice, you're in the human resources field. Uh, could you give us a, your perspective um, as a person who hires others, especially people with non-degrees? Uh, have you found uh, any opportunities for people who don't have degrees to make a decent amount of money? Or I mean, I don't know. Maybe because you're in the hospital field, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, having a degree or some type of formal training is certainly a weeding tool that employers use to as a criteria so that they can make a selection but it doesn't make a candidate a better candidate necessarily and they're not necessarily looking at the fact that you have a certain degree because a degree kind of speaks to like you know your dedication your commitment level um you know your persistence and just say you're trying to kind of do the things that will put you in a better position so therefore it's just much more than a piece of paper um, we certainly do hire people that have experience um, in lieu of education and it doesn't have to be a college degree just any type of formal training um, but for the people that we're hiring as well the main thing is being able to pay for your lifestyle so, i.e., while you're pursuing your careers, how, you know, if you're working and able to maintain a place to live, you know, feed yourself, you know, if you have transportation, pay for transportation, and that, that's what's important, you know, uh, is, you know, taking care of yourself, becoming independent. Um, so, all of the things that I've heard the young people mention are great. Um, but in the meantime, you know, it's like, what is the plan for, you know, well, how can you use your plan, but take care of yourself in the meantime? Project. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all six now rolled the window. You want to answer that question? Gonna, it was going to start getting hot in um, mid, so I was just like, you know. Uh oh, you talking about for the background noise too? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I don't have an external mic. Okay. It's the last. I mean, but you can take it inside while we get checked in or something. You all can sit over to the side. But I do if I left the windows up, y'all are going to start getting very hot in here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. And so uh, before we switch the inside, was that a question to them to ask them? No, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, from a parent and a parent of employer perspective I mean because you know we ask people that are coming to work for us once they have been onboarded you know what was the reason why you wanted to come here you know what makes you tick um, you know just what are your reasons is it because you want to be in this field and we ask, we ask them to be honest you know is it I'm just working this job to make some money while I do something else um, so that way we can know the people that are here just to have a full time or part time job in the meantime while they're doing something else or the ones that are very serious about a career in the area that we're offering positions. Um, because again, as long as they're going to do the job, you know, it doesn't matter what their motivation is. We're just looking for people that are going to do the job. Um, and of course, people generally do excel and do best in areas that they're interested in. You know, so I've heard that as well. So, like I say, whatever industry that you're interested in, just as long as you are getting training, you know, practical work experience is good. Um, but there are all kinds of ways to do that in a formalized way 
and make money while doing it and be able to take care of yourself hmm. okay all right thank you so Jay are you going to school uh, at the current moment I am not I'm not going to school what yeah what yeah yeah uh, well I've decided uh, that it was more efficient for me to spend my time um, working multiple jobs and uh, building a music career. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, back in my day, I guess I got cornered with the effect of either you're going to go to school, and if you don't go to school, you're going to go into the armed forces. Mm. Now, being that I was a renegade as it was, I kind of sort of had a choice there and it was I didn't take regulations rules and orders well at home so my decision was I needed to go ahead and go to school versus going into the armed forces and continuing to be a renegade uh, with that there were a couple of scholarships out there that we were able to apply for that actually helped me out throughout my collegiate career there were a couple of different scholarships that were in newspapers and magazines that we were able to jump on, as well as the scholarship that I earned at high school as I graduated also helped pay for three years of my, my education. So I was also told I was going to major in a dead field, which was graphic design, fine arts and my mother encouraged me to chase my dream. So I chased the dream, and when I chased that dream, unbeknownst to me, I found out honestly and truly how good I was at what I was stone cold crazy about, which was the fine arts. And it paid off for me. I got to take a look before I actually graduated from college at what was a sweatshop, what was a design firm, what was an ad agency, and then I got to see what was corporate America, in-house creative design. And I've been very, very blessed, quite, quite fortunate at the fact that I came out of school with two bachelor's degrees in my field in advertising graphic design and in fine arts illustration and I was able to start in corporate America which was fabulous I did have to get used to wearing a tie and as most of you all know now I don't have a problem wearing a suit or a tie anymore but I have always been in corporate America in-house design uh, my first job my second job my third job and now my fourth and usually working with in conjunction with headquarters or working at headquarters where I work now for Amtrak. This man truly has a gift too. Um, he did uh, the design for my band's first t-shirt uh, back when we were called Something About Chinaman. It was just a really cool design. That's Something About Chinaman across and it's like dragging it, like intertwining with it. Dragon created the yes. Oh, yeah, it was so yeah. cool. We'll insert a picture of yeah, it. We gotta cut a picture right there. <clears throat>
Um, I do have a good dental plan. I do have a good yeah, medical yeah. plan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So you get fearful of leaving stuff like that. Yeah. But as I near age to retire, uh, we, we have been ramping the business up a little bit further, sure. one notch at a time. And with what I did get from school, that has definitely backed me in starting my own business. And you know we'll help too. We'll, 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 hey. Absolutely, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We're gonna do this. We're yes, gonna give sir. it a try. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the other things too that I wanna tell you is that, you know, there may be a couple of failures, but that one success could be the one success that means the most. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you right here and right now, my biggest success was probably going to school wow. and grabbing hold of the degrees that I grabbed hold of for, in my day, back in the early 80s, practically for free. Wow. So do you think it's a mistake that John's um, not going straight to school right now? It may not be a mistake. It may not be a mistake. What it could be, though, is one of those situations that steers him down that avenue for him to get into the business, see the business, know what he has to do, and go back and get his degree. Mm. And that's what I'm going to encourage him to do. Uncle Maul says go back to school, get that paper, get your paper, and make it do a couple of things. That's pretty much it, yeah. Thank you. Probably one of the biggest things out of my whole career is the fact that my father told me later in the game after I'd gone to school that I was going to be the first sharp male to ever earn a degree wow. after high school. So that gave me an extra push, an extra burst to continue studying what I was studying. And of course, there were many people, even family members, that were telling me I was majoring in a dead field. I would never be able to get a job doing what I was studying. I became more and more pressed. I'm gonna say pressed. I was more pressed to make it happen. I was more pressed to succeed in the field that I was studying in. And that also made me more apt to be the best that I was or the best that I could be in the field. So through that, I've won numerous awards for design. I've won numerous awards for Society for Technical Communications and various illustrations that I've done both for NASA, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, um, the environmental firms that are out there. There's just so much that I've done and that I can be proud of that I'm not going to tell you, you know, there's going to be a couple of mole hills and mountains to climb. And, and um, when you graduated, uh, about how many were there and how many are there remaining in corporate? When I graduated from Frostburg State, there were 21 persons that were studying in the arts. Today, there are three of us that are still in our field, working in our field. And to date, I am probably as high as I'll be able to go unless, of course, the corporation that I work for creates the position Executive Creative Director. Why I am the Creative Director for Amtrak. Why do you think other people are not remaining in that field? The only reason why people are dwindling from the field is because now it's more electronic based than it's ever been. Uh, everything is done on the computer. Uh, everything is digital now, so we've moved into a socio, social networking kind of environment. Uh, I think that's probably the only thing, the only reason that's swaying people away from it. Now you can make just as much money in social, uh, Facebook, internet, intranet, uh, Twitter, all that stuff. We actually have a team in our marketing department that does exclusively that. Wow. That's 
and my team actually supports them with infographics, any kind of graphics and photography that they might need for whatever they're pushing for that day. Okay, so it has nothing to do with they don't like the corporate environment, it's more of... No, nah, I don't think it's the corporate environment at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. There are still sweatshops out here that are pushing artwork out every day. There are still ad agencies doing business and using your graphic designers on a daily basis. Uh, there are still firms, just graphic design firms, producing nothing but graphics, whether it be for books, for learning, etc. Yay!